Hey there are some people in today's video we are delving deep into everything you need to know about leverage and forest law signs. When I first started trading I watched around 15 videos on this topic but ended up more confused each time. If that sounds familiar don't worry this video will break down leverage and law signs in the simplest and easiest way possible. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button to let the YouTube algorithm know it's valuable and don't forget to subscribe to support the channel's growth. Now without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Leverage is the ability to use something small to control something big. In the case of Forest, using a smaller capital base to control a larger loss size. We will get into what loss size means after this topic. Leverage in Forest is the ratio of the trader's funds to the size of the broker's credit. To understand this concept of leverage, let's take a brief history of how Forest was initially. Initially in Forest, it's not anyone that is allowed to trade Forest. Just as we see currently in New York Stock Exchange, Forest was only traded by people we call the Cabas, men of Wall Street, usually investment banks, rich men, monarchs, big businessmen, company owners, etc. In other words, leverage is a borrowed capital to increase the potential returns. Now, let me take New York Stock Exchange for example. For you to trade in the floor of New York Stock Exchange, you should be earning a specific amount of millions of dollars per annum. You shouldn't be owing any mortgage, your tax documents are up to date with so many useless criteria just to limit it to the airlines. Although now, it's very easy. Anyway, so also it was in forest then, common men like you and I wouldn't have benefited from this lucrative business. Now because of the internet, the world became a global village in that you can buy and sell from anywhere around the world. This led to the proliferation of forest brokers. Now forest brokers had so many customers around the world that they could solve that single problem of capital for us. Now, those world banks require a certain amount of money for someone to be able to trade with. But because brokers have pulled a huge amount of money together, we are now allowed to trade through our brokers. So instead of an individual trading with $1 million, you can actually place a trade with as little as $10 because you didn't go alone. You enter the market through your broker who is recognized by the World Bank as a formidable force because it has a large capital base. I believe this simple illustration is understood. Now, your broker allows you to trade because he offers you what they call leverage in the forest market. The principle of leverage is virtually multiplying that your little capital so that you can use it to buy something worth a bigger value. When we will be filling our forms for opening of trading accounts, you will see things like 1 is to 500 or 1 is to 1000 etc. Hope you understand what leverage means. In summary, leverage which is the use of borrowed money to invest is very common in forest trading. By borrowing money from a broker, investors can trade larger positions in a currency. However, Leverage is a double-edged sword, meaning it can also magnify losses. Leverage is what is making the profit we have in forest appreciable. Our next brief topic for today is loss size. In the forest market, these currencies are not bought and sold singly. They are bought and sold in packs called loss size. That is what makes the gain appreciable. If not, your profit in forest would have been $0.001 or something like that. But because you buy this currency in box known as loss size, that's why the gain is appreciable. Let's see the types. There are basically three types of loss size. Standard lot, mini lot, and micro lot. Standard lot contains 100,000 units and is represented on MT4 by 1.0. Mini lot contains 10,000 units and is represented on MT4 by 0.1. While micro lots contains 1,000 units and is represented on MT4 by 0.01. I will show you where to impute them on MT4 soon. Let's just explain what each of them mean. Let's assume we have three traders, A, B, and C, that deals on ceramic tiles. 
you know that for them to make profit, they can't just buy a single carton from the wholesaler. They need to buy many cartons for the profit made to be appreciable. These cartons are what we call lot size. Now, assuming trader A buys 1,000 cartons of ties and trader B buys 10,000 cartons of ties, why trader C buys just only 1,000 cartons of ties, you will agree with me that trader A would make more money than trader B, who will in turn make more money than trader C. And what determined how many cartons of ties they bought is the capital they invested in the business. That is a typical illustration of loss size. In the illustration above, trader A bought standard loss size, while trader B bought mini loss size, while trader C bought micro loss size. Let's now see the PIP equivalent of each loss size. For standard loss size, one PIP is equal to $10. For mini loss size, one pip is equal to one dollar. Why? For micro loss size, one pip is equal to zero point one dollar. Let's note them down. So, if three trader trades a currency pair and three of them made fifty pips, let's say trader A traded one standard loss size of the pair. Why? Trader B traded one mini loss size of the pair, and the last trader C traded one micro loss size of the pair. Trader A would make 50 pips times $10 is equal to $500. Trader B would make 50 pips times $1 is equal to $50. Why? Trader C would make 50 pips times $0.1 is equal to $5. So even though they still participated in the same trade and the market moved in their direction for the same amount of pips, their profits were different because the amount of that particular currency they bought was different. I believe this concept is not clear. Before you enter a trade, you have the option of setting up your desired loss size. As you can see in the image above, the blue boss is at the loss size that you have set. Why you use the other red bosses by the other side to adjust the loss size to various multiples to increase or decrease it to your desired loss size. Here's what I want you all to do with your demo account. Enter trades with this loss size 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 1.0 and 3.0 and monitor how your profit and loss increases. It is also important to use a loss size that is commensurate to your account size or capital. Thanks for watching guys, if you made it this far, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows this video is good. In addition, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about leverage and forest loss size. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. In the next lesson, I'm going to be talking about trading plan and until the next video, guys, take care. Love you guys.